it's our pleasure that Ghana, to tell you, Ghana is ready to do business. Ghana is the right place for you to be this morning. And as we gather here, we are hopeful that we have a very good day and a fruitful discussion. I want to re-emphasize the fact that the two countries are fully committed to ensuring that this partnership grows. So I call on the business people here to take advantage of the presence of the team and then find entry points into all the investment areas that they are sharing with us. Again, it is encouraging to know that um, we have a Ghana Dubai Chamber of Commerce situated in Accra here. That again is a very important signal to you, the business people, to take full advantage of the opportunities that exist in the two countries. We would like to diversify our relation, economic relation with Ghana. We don't want to depend in our trade with Ghana on two or three main uh, products that we are dealing with Ghana, or to focus on one sector, two sectors for investments. I think the potential of investment here in this country and the growth of the economy of Ghana and the reform that you are witnessing here in Ghana, encouraging more business people, more investors to come and invest in different activities, commercial activities. The, the new strategies that, uh, which, is, which uh, we are putting in place for uh, increasing growth of the economy here, one of this main uh, strategy, one district, one factory, and many other uh, policies that will bring more business and more growth to the country. And we would like to be part of this development agenda. I'm going to give a brief overview of economic um, situation and key indicators in the country. Currently, Ghana has a population of about 27 million people, and we are in the lower middle income category. Um, we are the second largest in West Africa, and we have access to over 350 million um, ECOWAS markets through these countries. And in terms of human resource, we have a skilled and trainable labor force. Um, our GDP for last year was 42.7 billion USD, and we are targeting um, a growth rate of 8.3% this year. Um, in terms of GDP per capita, we stand at 1,608 US dollars. Politically, we have had um, 25 years of democratic rule. In fact, we in, in West Africa or in Sub-Saharan Africa, we are the longest on we have the longest uninterrupted democratic um, regime. In terms of ease of doing business in Sub-Saharan Africa, we rank the 12th. And the sectors of investment that we 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 cover, that we offer incentives. We have nine of them. And then in terms of taxes, we give 20, 22% when it comes to um, corporate tax for companies listed in the stock market. And then also we have 100% um, um, transferability of your profits and dividends under our investment law. So like we say, and as you see in our, most of our presentations, there is an arrow that is in red, yellow, and green. And it's pointing in a certain direction. And it says Ghana is on the go. We are on the go, and we want you to join us as we move on. We are a land of endless opportunities. Thank you. What we currently do as a chamber is basically bridge the gap between UAE companies and Ghanaian companies. 
we do this by connecting them to the right um, of takers uh, with the right companies all in a bit to enhance good business relations I am very optimistic about the future of UAE and Ghana trade relations and remain confident that we can leverage on this platform and this opportunity to further deepen bilateral trades and build new bridges between our business communities. Joining us today are top officials and executives of um, companies in the UAE and Ghana who are keen to do business and learn more about the business opportunities that Ghana has to present. I'm also here to assure you of a ready market for your products. Early part of this year, Ghana as part of the Africa continent signed on to the Continental Free Trade Agreement. Soon after that, the Parliament of Ghana ratified the agreement. This agreement has created a very large market of over 1.2 billion people with a cumulative GDP of 2.2 trillion. This we are calling on the private sector from UAE to partner with the private sector of Ghana under the One District, One Factory and the numerous initiatives that have been churned out by the government of Ghana to produce and serve the continent of Africa. Beyond that, a lot of companies are setting up in Ghana, using Ghana as a hub to reach up to both the ECOWAS market and that of the whole Africa. The Ghana National Chamber of Commerce and Industry is ever committed to assist in the development of any trade investment between Ghana and the UAE. They can submit it for filing their returns. The Embassy of the United Arab Emirates in Accra will play a pivotal role in ensuring that trade and investment by the Emirati and Ghanaian investors is facilitated through consular and trade support. Our doors are open and the Embassy will be glad to support you in your endeavors.